Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life, and T Mobile's Q1 numbers are now official. I watched the entire earnings call. That's what took me so long to make the video. The earnings call was quite long, and I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on the quarter and the earnings call. As many of you know, I like to be honest, so I got to give credit when credit's due. T Mobile had a great quarter, they added 1.1 million customers. They had a record low churn of 1.18%. That means customers are staying and 11% growth in service and total revenue. So those are great numbers for T-Mobile. I know AT&T and Sprint still have to post their numbers, but they won't get anywhere close to T-Mobile. So T-Mobile will have the biggest growth in Q1. So there's a few things that I wanted to point out that I felt like weren't talked about in the earnings call. T-Mobile's revenue in Q4 of 16 was 10.2 billion. In Q1 of 17, it dropped to 9.6 billion. So yet yeah, T-Mobile is growing by 1.1 million customers, but it's at a cost. So all the promos, the buy to get one free, all of those promos is causing T-Mobile to drop in revenue, but they are adding customers. So they are growing. I'm just wondering, how long are they going to be able to sustain this type of growth? That's one thing that I wanted to point out. The next thing that I wanted to point out, which I told you guys in my other video, what I was looking forward to, is their continued strong outlook for 17. And I told you guys I was looking forward to the CapEx. The CapEx is growing from $4.8 billion to $5.1 billion. I told you guys that I felt like a sweet number for them would be between seven or eight billion that didn't happen but it still grew from 4.8 to 5.1 now Neville said on the earnings call that he currently has almost 15,000 small cells up on the network and he's contracted for another 25,000 so I'm thinking this little boost in capex is to fund that project because he did mention that LTEU, the unlicensed spectrum, is already being rolled out on the network. So this small cells, these small cells will help the LTEU, the unlicensed spectrum, to be put to use better on the network and it'll be better for the customer as well. So that's one thing that I wanted to point out. I'm not disappointed in the CapEx, but I just felt like with the 600 megahertz and the preparation, I think it should have been a little more, but we'll see maybe as, as we get into Q2 or Q3, we will see it go up. Now, what I am quite impressed with is the postpaid growth. So they increased it from 2.8 to 3.5, up from 2.4 to 2.3.4. to 3.4. So that's great to see. It looks like T-Mobile will continue to grow throughout the year, but like I just said, at what cost so the growth is there we just want to see at what cost and he did mention John did mention during the call that before the end of this Q2 we will see another uncarrier so I want to see what he has to you know plan for that or what he's going to offer so that will be a uncarrier to look forward to next um, we are still in the quiet period, so they weren't able to be specific, but he did make a few hints and he hinted towards Dish Network. He said he liked that content. What that really meant, I don't know, but he said he liked it. So this upcoming Thursday, it's going to be a crazy day. I'm going to have a lot of research to do because I think there's going to be a lot of, a lot of news dropping that day. So stay tuned for that. But on Thursday, is going to be a big day. We're not just T-Mobile, but, you know, maybe Sprint, Comcast, Charter. A lot of companies are going to come out the closet and start talking. So it'll definitely, Thursday will be a big day to be tuned into the channel. So now onto the earnings call. I, I kind of dislike Neville. When he spoke, he spoke as if, Verizon has no chance anymore. They won't be able to keep up with us. He was pretty much talking like Verizon was a sprint. 
Verizon still has money. They still have a lot of money. And they, you know, I got to give it to them. I mean, Verizon chose to build instead of buy. They wanted to build towers. They wanted to build small cells. They chose not to buy any more Spectrum as of yet. They are going to have to buy more Spectrum, especially mid-band in my opinion. But as of yet, they are building instead of buying. And Neville said that will cause Verizon to slip in speeds because of the unlimited. He says as of recent reports from Ookla, if you guys remember my wireless weekly recap, I posted the national averages of speed tests. And Verizon is, you know, as of that report, still second, close to T-Mobile. He says in recent weeks, Verizon has dropped below AT&T. So right now it's T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, and then Sprint is catching up to Verizon. So according to him, soon Verizon will be in fourth place on national averages, on speeds. That to me was... I dislike that he should have said, you know, I will bring the competition to Verizon or we're getting better. But he's pretty much saying at this point, since we got that low band spectrum, we're going to have the best network ever. And Verizon's not going to be able to keep up with us. You know, I understand confidence. If you have confidence in your team and in your network, that's fine. But he's taking it to a whole nother level, in my opinion. That's just me. He's sort of like becoming like John. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. If you watched the earnings call, let me know in the comment section down below how you felt about that. I know T-Mobile's network is getting better. I know it's getting faster. But it's not anywhere close to Verizon as far as the scalability on the square miles of LTE. And he even admitted it on the earnings call he's not going to be able to catch verizon anytime soon he says on organic network he's going to have to use roaming partners so i don't know why he's bashing <clears throat> verizon yeah right now according to their subscriber account you know their the <clears throat> their spectrum is not matching up with what they how many customers they have but you know, Neville has to watch what he says because it might backfire. Verizon might say, you know, we're going to buy Dish Network. We're going to buy up all their spectrum. And then, boom, T-Mobile's behind again. So I just wanted to point that out. That just kind of bugged me a little bit. But other than that, the earnings call was fine. You know, John Legere was being John Legere. He was he was bashing Sprint. And, you know, he called it com com vison or whatever he called it so he's thinking that they're gonna merge and but he's saying he's ready for whatever they have to bring and you know he's ready they think that they're going to be able to grow big enough if they stay a standalone company but they are open to talks with anyone else so i thought that was interesting they just have a lot of confidence across the board um, one thing that i forgot to point out is that Neville said he's been testing the HPUE technology that Sprint is using, and he is not impressed by it. He says it's very minimal um, increase in the in the network, and he says he hasn't noticed any difference, any real drastic difference, the way that Sprint is advertising HPUE. So I just wanted to point that out. So just wanted to make this video for you guys. Q1 big quarter for t-mobile i watched like i said i watched the entire earnings call and i was i was impressed by the numbers it's a big it's a big quarter it's their fourth year as you will see by the title it's their fourth year as a public company and they have the leading customer growth once again so that's big you know no other company has been doing it like t-mobile in these last 13 or so quarters so they can brag but the way they're doing it is a bit, their tactics are getting a bit old, in my opinion. And soon they're going to have to put their money where their mouth is as far as, as we go into 5G. And I want to see how they're going to be able to compete going into 5G with the big two. So that's going to be very interesting to see. But throughout this, this year, Q2, Q3, Q4, I see T-Mobile doing just fine. You know, they're going to maintain growth. They're not going to do anything explosive, but they're going to be just fine. So 
I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. I know this video was a little bit longer. I just had a lot to cover, a lot that I wanted to say. So leave all your opinions, comments in the comment section down below. I appreciate all the uh, emails that were sent in while I was watching the earnings call. Definitely much appreciated. Give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.